hello youtube and welcome to another linux tutorial so in this video i will show you how you can deploy engine x with docker so are you ready let's get started so first of all a brief introduction what is docker and what is engine x so actually engine x is an open source reverse proxy load balancer http cache and web server okay and docker is also an open source platform for building shipping running distributed application so in this tutorial i will assume that you have already installed docker under ubuntu linux it's pretty easy to install it there are a lot of tutorials on youtube that shows you how you can do that so first thing first let's verify that the service is running so I will run the command service docker status here we go now you can see the service is actually running okay I can also if you want run the command docker info here we go now you can see clearly that I'm running server version 17.0.3 okay so now that we have actually confirmed that docker is running in my host machine here let's try to deploy nginx with docker so in order to deploy nginx with docker it's pretty easy all you have to do is to run this command here docker okay run then you can give actually the the container that will be created using docker a name so of course docker can provide a random name but it's always good to provide your own name so i will name it for example engine x or my engine x okay so this is the name of our instance or container here okay then minus capital p so capital p actually will allows us to map the port for engine x to the local ports okay because as you know engine x web server run on port 80 but here docker will actually provide us a, a, a random port so if you have a lot of uh, instances of engine x running you will not have a conflict okay then minus d d stand for the detach mode because here we want to run engine x as a daemon okay then you provide the name of your image so here i'll be in using engine x the open source platform or open source actually open source image here okay then i can hit enter so it will take some time because it will pull actually the engine x hub actually docker and will run it and finally you can confirm that the, the container has been created with the command docker ps so here you can see clearly that I have a container ID so this is the whole number or characters for my image engine X okay so the status is up so it's up and running and here you can see the port that have randomly generated by the docker so here we'll be using port 32770 okay and of course the name that we have provided my engine x so i can also confirm that so let's uh, open firefox and go to this random port in order to see if it's really running okay so here we go i have to type http because it's web server which is running on my local host here and now i provide the port number which is 32770 et voila you can see that engine x is actually running on my host machine here okay another way to verify that 
is actually to do an HTTP request using the curl comment. So I will use the curl comment HTTP column slash slash and localhost. Then the port number. Okay. And here we go. You can see that I have the HTML code for the indexed page here. Okay. So this is the HTML code for my web page that was actually displaying in my browser. So my engine X engine is working. Okay. So now another thing that you can do is to map a local directory to the Docker directory actually. Okay. So here, if you see here on my desktop, I have an HTML folder. So let's go to this HTML folder here and list, list what is inside. We have only an index page, so we can see what is inside this index page. So it's nothing special that's uh, displaying welcome to page. So, so how can I actually map this folder to the Docker container? So instead actually of displaying this default website here or web page, I want to display actually the page that I have been created in this folder here. So in order to do that, it's also really easy. You have to map this directory here to your container. So we do that with the same command that we have previously run it, but we add here actually uh, an option minus v v for volume then we provide the path to our, our local directory so here i am on my home directory here slash desktop okay slash html folder here okay so i want to map this directory to the default container or engine x directory so by default we know that the default html or index page is located in engine x in slash user slash share then engine x then html oh okay so here we have our mapped our local directory to a directory in nginx container here okay and i hit enter so here i have an error because i have actually provided the same name to a container that is actually running so let's provide another name in order to avoid conflict so this time i will call it this image my nginx 01 for example and here we go so the container is created let's test it with same command docker ps so here you can see at the top my newly created container which this time is running or listening on port 32771 instead of 770 okay so normally if i go to my firefox and go to this port here i will have actually this page here that contain welcome to to page instead of welcome to engine x which is by default so let's do it so let's open firefox so here i will change 770 by 771 et voila as you can see now we have actually displaying splash page from our local directory okay so here we have two instances running or two containers running in our host machine so in order to stop one of them it's pretty easy you can stop them all or just one of them with the command docker and stop then the container name so here I can provide this one for example here so I have to copy and paste it here we go now it stopped so let's run the command again so now I have only 
the previous instance that is running. If I want to see also this one that I have stopped, all I have to do is to add the option minus A. And here we go, you see all the instances that I have created and I have stopped. So some I have ex exited actually. Okay, so that was just a brief introduction. I hope it was informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.